Be there or be square. It's Flashlight Friday. Be here or be square? Hmm? Extreme light intensity from edge to edge. They claim that standard flashlights produce circular patterns of light that are non-uniform, irregular blobs of light. Who wants a blob of light? Your light must be orderly and square. Perfectly uniform. How do they do this? Taking off the lens, you can see the square mirror tunnel thing. There it is. It's coupled with this lens, and you get magic that brings you this projected square image, like a projector. Yep. High definition light. How many pixels? Like, what's the resolution? You know what I mean? High definition. Come on. Okay, so first an unbox, then bad news after the unbox, followed by pros and cons, and finally I'll end this video with a life hack tip thing. All in all, would I buy one? Yes, and I did. And I didn't like it, but now I do, and the following is why. Okay, I bought the flashlight on clearance at a store near me for about 15 bucks, marked down from 80. Now discontinued, this model is the Bushnell 165, and it says that nowhere on the packaging that I could see, except for the lumen output, is 165 lumens. You can still find this online some places, but they have a new model, the Bushnell T300L HD. Uh, and it's got one enormous pro over this one immediately, and that is that the newer model uses AA batteries. And this one, well, <sighs> Okay, I noticed right when I cracked the thing open, it smelled like gas, like this icky, nasty smell coming out. And there was this oil towards the end of the thing where the cap screws on. I was like, okay, all right. And then I noticed there's a crap ton of graphite grease or some sort of grease on the threads of the where the end screws in. Like way too much grease. Okay, that's strange. Then I noticed I put the batteries in and the thing doesn't really work. It's like flickering on and off and turning. It's just weird. So I cleaned the threads and then it, it, that didn't work. So I started dismantling the button because you know, I wanted to figure it out. I take apart the inner part where the spring is and notice like clear grease on the inside piece. All right. Okay, that's weird. Then I take apart the button tip where there's this letter B I'll talk about in a little bit. And uh, I noticed that the inside of that is like packed with grease. Okay, what's going on, huh? It's a circuit board with like a surface mounted LED and other surface mounted like parts, it's electric components, it's a circuit board just swimming in grease. And then that center like button, there's no rubber grommet or anything on it, just with grease clearly getting into the inner working portions of the button. Ugh. So I took my multi-tool and I contacted the negative end of the batteries with the casing and the light lit up just fine. So what? What, what's going on, guys? Huh? After about an hour, hour and a half of trying to solve the problem, like just fix it, I, I gave up. Went back to the store the next day. They had about four of these things left and I exchanged the flashlight. I opened the one that I exchanged it with, like in the store and boom, works great. So check this out. Let's take a look inside the cap though. Oh, look at that, no grease. What's going on, huh? I greatly dislike quality control neglect in the manufacturing process like this. Bushnell, if you're watching, get a hold of that factory or shop where you leased your name so they can put it on this product and, and, and take a tour. Request an image of every product during the quality control phase, if you've even got one, and just oh, do that and you won't have parts swimming in grease. And then customers won't have the ability to highlight the enormous dump that you took inside the flashlight before you sold it. Oh, end rant. Maybe. Let's, let's do some pros and cons. Con! CR123A batteries. Non-rechargeable option. Great idea. I suppose you guys throw your clothes away after single use too, huh? Gotta go buy a new pair of shoes every day? Hmm? <laughs> Do you set up your budget to cover 31 pairs of new socks a month? Oh, that's gonna be weird. I guess it got me wondering, what's it like? Amazon, Fruit of the Loom, six socks, 10 bucks, 31 days, two feet, 62 times, 100 bucks, plus a big gulp. What does this mean when you can actually budget to wear new socks every day? Con, the packaging does not say what kind of battery the thing uses. <laughs> I wanted to take a chance and I did. I had a guess given that it did say lithium and three volt, 
but man, it's annoying. Okay, con, this thing gets hot after five minutes of using it. The batteries get hot, that's not good. I reviewed this Orc Torch flashlight, and it gets hot, but like only on the tip area of the lens thing. This Bushnell flashlight gets hot all over the grip and the whole flashlight, and just, okay. Okay, so when I say hot, I mean really warm after about 10 minutes, and just warm after five, but it's, it's, it's notable. It's not too bad, I'm just upset that the first one was a huge steaming pile of defecate, just smelly, nasty sh- Con, if you leave the B illuminated, it will drain the battery. With very light use on the flashlight, and just leaving the status light on, it died in four days. So, I went and I bought another flashlight, because it's 15 bucks and it comes with batteries, and I'm pretty sure these have been on the shelf for like, 10 years. So, it could just be that the batteries are old, but that's a con. Pro! The metal casing is very robust, and the machining it took to craft the outer shell of this flashlight, all of the threaded portions, where the o-ring seat, the tolerances, it's nothing short from perfect. If you needed somebody to design, machine, and then deliver you a piece, a, a part, a space part, a space coupling that you can then mount to your spaceship that could take you to the International Space Station, I guarantee you that that coupling would seat perfectly with the dock on the space station, and you could be on your merry way through it into the space station. Whoever did this design knew what's up. If it was one person or a team, they knew what's up. I'm talking about the metal parts, not the electronics. G -g Swimming in grease. <sighs> this nearly useless wristband thing, which con, they don't give you a wristband for. <laughs> it's, it's design is impressive. The tolerances. It's popped on, and then the piece that follows it is threaded, and it's just, it's perfect. It's great. So much simple, yet complex design went into this thing. It's a work of art. The thought behind it, like the lady from the movie, the movie, she said the thing, she's like, they should have sent a poet. That's clearly the case with describing this. Okay. Pro, status light. If you can see color, then you can see green or red with this and orange when it's operating. Turn on by pressing the end, and the light comes on. Then you can toggle between being on or pro, strobe, or off. And when you have it off, but the tip is still engaged, you get the status light, this find me light, that they clearly let you know is trademarked on the packaging. Do not even think about using that intellectual property. It's theirs. Find me is off the table. Unless you maybe offer them a lot of money. Bushnell, claw. That first flashlight made me so mad. Pro, if you leave it on and set it down, you can see it, that you left it on. Pro, the side button is stiff. So you know you're not going to accidentally bump it, like and turn it off or on or whatever. Plus it feels stout in the lateral tug, you know, the lateral tug there. Quick side note, I will be buying the same size lithium rechargeable batteries to see if they work. And they may fry the thing though, given that their top voltage is 4.2 volts and the, instead of three, either way, I'm going to try it. Gone! If you shut it off with the side button, but bump into the, the, the other button, it resets like the mode that it's on, so uh, it, it turns it back on. Anyway, that may be a pro, I don't know, you decide. Pro, the balance, it's good, it feels light but heavy at the same time, like it's got weight to swing but not to lift. I mean, we're talking Thor's hammer kind of balance, it's the machining, oh, it's so nice. The flashlight tugs at my emotions. It's all because that first one was a heaping duper from crap town. Life tip, if you buy something at a store, save your time. Open the thing at the store immediately to see if it works. If it doesn't, return it or exchange it on the spot.